On today's episode, we feature an amazing organization in Toronto called Taibu Community Health Centre. We talk with several instructors about their various exercise programs, and we speak with seniors who utilize a wide array of activities offered by Taibu. We also talk with Dr. Morgan from the Black Health Alliance about the Black Health Challenge and why they started the Black Men's Health Challenge. But first up, we speak with the Taibu Executive Director about their mission and the programs they have available to the community. Right now on Caribbean Vibrations. You're watching Caribbean Vibrations TV, and we're coming to you from Taibu Community Health Center. I'm speaking with Lieben Gabri Michael, Executive Director. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I really enjoy coming to Taibu. It's an amazing space. And one of the questions I always had is, what does the name Taibu mean? That's the question that uh, a lot of people ask us when they when they come or they cut, they, they come to find out about the organization. So Taibu is uh, from uh, Kiswahili language in East Africa and Central Africa, and it's a greeting or a wish to say be in good health. So when the founders of the organization were thinking about a name, they had two ideas in mind. One was uh, it should be Afrocentric, rooted in Afrocentric principles. And the second one had to relate to what we are about. So they found this word that really encompasses what the organization is about. So Taibu means be in good health. And that's what we are here for. Now, Lieben, why is Taibu so focused on programs geared to the Afro-Caribbean community? Uh, f f number one is because the organization was established to serve the black community across the GTA as its priority population. So uh, our primary focus is to serve the black community across the GTA. Secondly, we're also looking within the black community, we're also looking at issues that predominantly affects the black community. So chronic disease, mental health, sickle cell disease, these are the kind of things that are predominantly an issue within the black community. So we try to, to kind of gear our programs based on the need of the communities and also identify identifying where we need to make some improvement and some changes, whether it's through access to services or it is through uh, providing information, education awareness or capacity building so that people can make informed and better decisions about their health and well-being. One of the things we want to do is to keep people active, whether it's physically active in the community or to keep uh, cognitively active so that they participate in any activities so that uh, everybody is active up, you know, with their own needs, issues, uh, and so that the community overall is healthy and also active in, in their uh, engagement. Greetings, greetings. My name is David Smith, the creator of the Reggae Size, the Jamaican Caribbean workout program, which is good for everybody, especially for senior. We can, we can design it for young people, older people. It's a very important exercise because it makes you sweat. It's our way, one of the Caribbean way of exercising to the beat of the reggae music where you can feel the heartbeat it's working sound and this is good as i said before for all ages the tempo good on the knee there's not much squatting and i've been working with taibu for over two and a half years now and man i'm so happy being here because it's like we bring another life to this program. I mean, it's a lively program, which I heard before, but I'm also happy that I am a part of Taibo and to help my fellow citizen. The reason why I'm doing yoga within my community is that it's, it's, it's not exposed to my community. And I see yoga, yoga literally is the science of life, science of living better, science of living healthy, physically, mentally, and emotionally. So I want to bring this more and more of this to my community, the African, African Canadian community, and anyone else who is willing to listen and learn. I try to introduce yoga in different forms, different ways. Tomorrow yoga will be on the chair where some of those folks literally can't go to the floor. This group here, some of the folks started on the chair, but they are now coming on the floor, working their way up. In fact, some of the ladies are shocking me because uh, the result that we're getting from the participants here. Uh, so I just, I, Taibu, continue this program because you're you also helping me spreading yoga within 
the African Canadian community and, and, and older folks who can't afford to, to, to participate in a yoga class because yoga is yoga's normally very expensive to, to participate in a class. And these people are here, snow, rain, heist, they are at the class every Thursday morning. So thank you, Taibo. Don't forget to follow us on social media. I care by TG. <laughs>
Today we discussed about uh, prostate cancer for uh, people of Caribbean and uh, African descent uh, because this is uh, a cancer which affects uh, men from these parts of the world. And this is a program run by the Taibu Community Health Center and it's called Black Men's uh, Health Challenge. Hi, my name is George Henry. I am 68 years old. I was introduced to this program by my wife. Uh, it's a beautiful program. As black men, we are susceptible to so many diseases. Uh, one of the good things about the program is that, one, it teaches us discipline. Two, it teaches us proper nutrition. Three, it gets us into a regiment that on a daily basis we can exercise, we can go for walks. I mean, physical activity is one of the best things for us. As you know, we're living in a climate where we're restricted somewhat because of the long winters. We have programs like this where we can come indoor, we can do our physical activity, we can watch our diet as we get older. If we do that, I think we can live a long and prosperous life. Lance Williams. And I'm Lavelle Williams. And that's my son. <laughs> I've been attending this program since last year. And it's not very often that we have groups for black men. And I found this very, very helpful, very informative, very beneficial. And so I brought my son so he can read the benefits of the program also. I find it very beneficial as well. Uh, you get some great information, you get to work out, and I get to spend some time with my old man. We should have more of this across the city for black men. Because as you know, we have a tendency not to pay much attention to our health. True. And so this is a great opportunity to explore our, our health issues. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, my name is Tamara Garns. I'm a physical activity instructor at Taibu Community Health Center and I teach Caribbean dance. The program is effective because we break down the barriers within our community. So the African, the Caribbean and the South Asian communities. So we basically um, break down these barriers that, that affect us the most. So we're offering programs that are culturally familiar to these people. So it, it gives them more of an incentive to to be here. So I encourage you, come out, you'll, you'll have the time of your life. I could take you a walk through the Caribbean and you just, you'll just feel it. You'll feel the sun beaming on you when you come to my class. Uh, coming here, it's, it's my daughter, Jeanette, who encouraged me to do exercises. I was still working at that time, and prior to that, while, while I was still working, I could give her thousand and one excuses not to go. <laughs> but she didn't stop. She's so persistent. She's practically dragging me out of the door to go to the gym, and I did. I have been retired almost four years now. But from the time I retired, I never stopped doing exercise. When the program is not on, I do a lot of walking. But Caribbean, this Taibu, it really, really, really gave me a lot. I mean, I retired and it's not just for health benefit. It's my way, my way of interacting with people because I don't work anymore. So I go every day. So different groups, different people, different friends. So that's all. <laughs> My name is Kevin Carrington and I am a reggae size instructor with the Taibu Community Health Center. Uh, reggae size is an outstanding program for the community. It's a great way for people to have some wellness and some fellowship. They get to come out and again, listen to some great reggae music and get in shape at the same time. Whether you're, you know, you're singing, dancing, you know, that's what reggae size is all about. 
fellowship, coming together, and having a good time. Caribbean Vibrations TV is an award-winning entertainment and lifestyle series dedicated to the culture of the international Caribbean community. Every week we take our viewers on a journey that captures the energy and influence of the Caribbean diaspora on a global scale. Our exclusive and unique content brings viewers the best in Caribbean travel, festivals, music, business, food, fashion, and cultural treasures globally. Caribbean Vibrations TV, all things Caribbean. My name is Jackie King. I am from Guyana. I recently retired. I'm 66 years old. Because of retirement, if I stay home, my body would seize up. So I choose to come here every Friday for two hours to exercise. My mind, my body, and my soul. I enjoy coming here and meet new people, learn new things about them, and the environment at Taibu is very professional. Taibu, I think it's a really great organization that's really focusing on people of color, bringing them together in terms of fitness and in terms of really having a healthy lifestyle. So just being a part of this program has really helped me. Um, my, my mother comes as well too. Um, so um, she really enjoys it as well too. So she's retired now. So just coming here, staying physically fit. Um, also listening to the music as well too. So um, I think it's important that we do come out and we just build community together and we continue just to exercise and um, continue to come out and support Taibu. Hi, my name is Rosa. I'm originally from Italy. I've been coming to this program over a year now. I love it. I'm going to be 82 this year, and I never thought I was going to make it. But here I am, and I love this program. Please keep having it, because we, we enjoy it every time. Hi, my name is Mary. I have been coming to this program for almost a year. It is an excellent program, especially for seniors, I think, because it keeps us more active and it's, it's, it's good for socializing as well. Um, everyone is kind of just, I don't know if it's because we're all seniors, but we get along famously. We talk, right? we laugh. The instructor is a very, very patient person because when I started, I was kind of shaky, but I'm getting a lot better and uh, it's good. Hi, my name is Angela. I'm original Australian. I've been in Canada for 58 years. I'm 79 years old. I've been coming to this program for the last three years. I'm so thankful that this program exists because without this program, I would not be flexible as I am now. When I first started it, I wasn't doing any good at all. I, I had to go and sit on a chair. I couldn't go on the floor. But thanks to this program, I'm really doing better. And I'm grateful to the program. And please keep it going. My name is Roy Jerome, originally from Trinidad and Tobago. I was introduced to this program like two and a half years ago. And since then, I've been a regular. At, at first, I was kind of concerned where there were so much women and no men. But now, I've become part of the group. And I really enjoy coming here. I always say there are parts of your body that sometimes don't even know exists until you start to breathe into that area of the body. You know, it helps you do, it helps me to sleep better. To, to think better, it's great. And I, and I really am grateful to Taibu for getting me involved in it. My name is Audrey Humes. I'm going to be 78 years on the 18th of February, which is Monday coming, family day. 
I have an amazing story about Taibu, about the wonders of Taibu. When I came to Taibu, before I came to Taibu, I was very weak and shaky because I have um, something that is akin to Parkinson's. It's not Parkinson's, but it's related. So I shake and I off balance and different things. Anyhow, I heard on the, the radio about a clinic, um, a clinic that helped people like I am, they, they shake. Um, so I went to the doctor and he said to me, you, you're lucky you do not have Parkinson's, but this resembles Parkinson's. And he gave me some tests to do. I came to Taibu and started doing trans care and fall prevention. I did that, I do that on Mondays and Tuesdays. And then on Wednesdays, I, did, I do yoga. And on Friday, I do regicides. You see me today, I am so strong. My balance is not here yet, but I am strong. I can go for hours on end. I was like, if I go two places in a day, I can't do anything. I have to go home and rest. I, if I go three, four, five places, I'm dead for the day. I started coming here. Now I am so really strong. I cannot praise Taibu and the exercises we do here enough. I just love this place. And what I like about Taibu is the social aspect because it is so crucial for, for elderly people, for older seniors to be able to intermingle with people, to communicate with people. That is so important. And this is what Taibu allows us. Outside of the exercising, we have so many social things we do. We have little groups, we play games, we, we, we look at movies, so many things we do. But the important thing is we have a community. We, can, we all we communicate with each other. Taibu is really, really magnificent for me. And I'm sure for anybody else who comes here. Now, is there anything else you'd like to tell our Caribbean Vibration viewers about Taibu Community Health Center? Um, I think uh, what I would like to say to the viewers is to come and check us out. Uh, check us out on our website, but definitely come and check us out at the location here in Scarborough, uh, 27 Top Scott Road, Unit 1. You won't miss it. It's in the Malvern Mall. Um, engage with us. Uh, contact us for uh, information or if you need a support and if you need any services, whether it's for young people, whether it's for seniors, whether it's for adults, whether it's a health issue, a mental health issue, a social issue. We're here to serve um, the community, and uh, we, you know, we like to engage with partnership with other organizations. So, if there are viewers who are also involved in social services and health services, please um, connect with us, and we'll be happy to work together to uh, make our communities be in good health, which is Taibu. I love it. Thanks for your time, Liban. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And you're watching Caribbean Vibrations.